Alright guys, you asked for it. So a lot of my users have been emailing me interested in making more symmetric planetary gear designs that look a lot like this. Or say look like these gears. Um, here's some nice designs created by Tom Longton who uh, actually emailed me recently. He's a pretty cool guy. Made some really great stuff. So yeah, how do you make uh, planetary gears that are more symmetrical like this? since most of the stuff with the astronomer is kind of more eccentric and more kind of uh, less symmetrical um, in terms of how the, the gears are moving. They're kind of moving in and out. Um, so I want to create an interface that would make that possible. And I have it here now. So let me show you how it works. Very simple. You create a gear design that's roughly circular. You click on astronomer and you have to have this check this checkbox cheat then you click calculate planetary gears and it's already already done astronomer did almost all the thinking for you you'll have a nice symmetric planetary gear in just a matter of seconds and that's all it really takes Okay, in a second I'm going to show you what the options are, because there are definitely lots of options. Uh, also a few rules. Before anything else, just want to remind you how you get the update. It's very easy. You go to uh, gearifysoftware.com, same as you did the first time you got it. Just click on the download tab, fill out the form, download the new installer, just reinstall the software and you'll have the update. If you have a licensed version, your license should stay stay there just fine after the reinstall. Never had an issue with that not happening with anyone, but if you do have an issue, just email me here, postmaster at gearifysoftware.com, and I'll figure out what's going on. All right, so back to this. So what are the options here? First off, these gears have to be kind of round for this feature to work. This is exploring the fact that the gears you're working with are almost circular, which is what allows you to cheat a little bit. We could use, say, square gear. Again, roughly circular. Very roughly circular. doesn't matter so long as it's just kind of of that shape. Astronomer again, we still have cheat on, which is good. And I can just calculate my planetary gear here. And in just a second, we'll have a nice new pretty planetary gear set once more. What are our options? Because there are always there are always options. At least I try to make it so. So, in this mode, when cheat is checked, you don't need to worry about any of the other, you don't need to worry about these buttons here, you don't need to worry about the options here or here. You just have to have that cheat button checked, a sort of roundish gear, and then all you need to modify is this value. You can actually do either of these pairs, either of this pair will stay the same. But you modify them, and it's pre-configured to automatically fill in the other ones. Again, this is exploring the fact that you have a roughly round gear. You'll notice the pattern here is that as you change these, the other one changes, and the difference between the two is always going to be twice the symmetry value of your gear. Here we have a symmetry of four, radial symmetry of four repeated, repeated sections. Two times four is eight. These values always differ by eight. And I think you need to remember that the number of planet gears will be the greatest common divisor of these two values, these external and internal values. The greatest com common divisor of six and 14 is two. If I calculate a planetary year right now, 
I should get two planet gears when it finishes. This will be done in just a sec. All right, so now we have a planetary gear with two planets. You can experiment with all different types of values here. You'll just be changing one of them all, unlike before. Four would be kind of nice, because with four, I have a four and a 12 here. The greatest common divisor, four and 12 is four. So I will have four planet gears when I create this. Almost done. Nice. So you see how that works in terms of the numbers. I can go even smaller. Let's see, two. Again, we have a greatest common divisor of two. This will be interesting because the sun gear will actually be smaller than the planet gear. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. That's fun. Okay. Um, and these gears don't actually have to have radial symmetry. They just need to be roughly roughly circular. So let's take sort of a like, here we go, a kind of a squashed. I'm just going to draw this in a little bit. All right, that's kind of what I want. That will be sort of similar to this one. So that's roughly circular, roughly round, roughly symmetrical. Again, I'm going to play with these. Let's find a value that has a decent greatest common divisor. Pretty sure I'm not going to get higher than 2 with this one. So, alright, I'll go with 4 and 6. So I'll have two planet gears. I'll increase the trim speed and make it just complete a little faster. So this works. Even though it wasn't super symmetrical. Of course I could have gone with say a symmetry value of 2. Radial symmetry here. I'll keep it roughly circular. Pull that middle end a bit. All right. Now let's see what we can do. Three, four. Oops. Need a little blank value in there. Okay. Now I should be able to get four of these. Again, I'm just exploring just a ton of different options so that I can get a nice number of uh, planet gears and just get some interesting shapes. So the only other thing I want to uh, mention is that first of all, you can you can look up the steps in the user manual. If you go under astronomer. There's the extra easy quick start guide, which basically just explains this in just a few just concise steps. Um, I recommend you know pairing that with the video, to give you the idea. Um, I explained the greatest common divisor point. I explained uh, the internal and external values always differ by twice the symmetry. Um, same as before, when you're actually calculating these, um, we're actually doing calculations for a physical model, you're going to want to put your integration accuracy up to high before you do your calculation. That'll just give you some, some more accuracy, which will probably be important for making sure things mesh uh, with, with the greatest accuracy. 
Only last, the other last thing I want to show you uh, with uh, with this feature is that so there's the rule about not using gears that aren't symmetrical or rather you want to stick to gears that are roughly circular let me show you what happens if you don't obey that so I'm going to use a very oblong very sort of non-circular gear I have my cheat option selected I'm going to go to calculate planetary gear and what you see is it'll it'll work it'll make something but look how look how the teeth turned out on this one a lot of undercutting resulted in the teeth sort of being sheared off because there's too much of a difference between uh, this shape and a circular shape so some assumptions that were made were not followed because this didn't obey the rule okay so that's basically all there is to it um, Love, would love to see what you guys make with this. Please send me your designs, pictures, videos of stuff that you make with this or stuff that you already have. Um, I will put them up in the gallery if you want me to show them off for you. Uh, and now, just before I go, I'm going to give you a little teaser about uh, a new feature that's up and coming for Gearify. I'm just going to close and reopen the software because this feature is um, not quite it's still in the works, um, so I'm not confident it'll work if, if I don't restart the software. So with this feature, basically, uh, same as any, I start with a nice non-circular gear, calculate gear, and you will may have noticed that this button here wasn't here before. Calculate rack and pinion. Calculate rack and pinion gear. This feature is in progress. Uh, unfortunately, you can only play with this little teaser button if you have a license. It's not because I want it to be that way, but because making it possible for non-licensed users would have actually been more work. Um, but basically, all you do is you create a design as, as before. You click Calculate Right and Minion, and it'll give you a little teaser of how the Rack and Pinion calculation and resulting gears will look. It won't get to the view tab, it won't let you export, it won't really let you do much of anything. It'll just show this little animation of it being cut and then just sort of traveling down down the gear. So that's a, that's a new feature that's coming up and um, whenever I get around to finishing the, the last bits of that, that will be a new possibility to make non-circular rack and pinion gears. Um, and that feature will be called Opinion, actually. So I always like to na just name these features. So, alright, so that's everything. I um, hope you guys have a lot of fun with this. Please send me any pictures or videos of, of your work I would love to see. Thanks, guys.